Hi, moms and dads. Parental Alienation Survival Coach here today with a little nugget of truth from God's Word, the Bible. And this has to do with how we know that severe alienators uh, really make the children afraid. Our kids are afraid of displeasing them. And so they're caught in a constant trap of fearing that parent and trying to please them just to get some sanity, just to have some peace in their life. And because they will be punished and mocked and belittled and shamed for showing love or desire for you. And they're rewarded when they show disrespect or disparagement. And out of fear, they have to do that because that's the only way they can feel emo um, you know, emotionally at peace, emotionally safe, is, is this fear-driven uh, kind of experience that they're having with that parent who makes them, you know, cut off their relationship with you. So I want to share what God says about that. I'm going to read from the Bible, the first letter to John, and it says that there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. And the one who fears is not made perfect in love. So that's kind of encouraging to me to know that God understands all of this. It's a little sad to know that our children are afraid, but that's a decision, that's a choice that the alienator made. And unfortunately, in many cases, it's not a decision that we can do anything about. So again, sometimes we have to accept the things we can't change. That doesn't mean to stop fighting for your kids. Don't ever miss interpret that you always want to keep your heart and your door open to them but i just wanted to share a little bit of a nugget of truth from the bible and remind you that god understands so hang in there moms and dads stay strong you're not alone none of us are